Oh hey, thank you for tuning in to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing my makeup, predominantly my eyeshadow because that's just what I'm working on. So I'm going to keep it nice and simple. If you're not interested in beauty, it's okay. Make sure that you tune into the next video. But if you came to see the look that I'm going to create, make sure to keep on watching. So I've already primed my eyelids and I've already done my eyebrows so that's something you don't have to worry about looking at. I'm thinking about doing a red lip. I'm thinking of like brown mixed with a little bit of gold. I'm trying to go for a little bit of that neutral look. I don't want something too bold and overpowering just because I want to do that red lip. So I'm going to start by using It's My Ray Ray's First Palette and using the shade Pancake right here. And then I'm going to transition and use the BH Cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using these shades right here. Boom, boom, boom. And a little bit of this one. We'll see what I create. So let's just get started. Okay, all I did was like kind of conceal the concealer that I have, so let's just move straight into the color. So I'm gonna go in with this color. I'm just gonna put that right there and build it up. So I'm going to go in with the number six brush, the one I've already used, just to blend out my edges. Edges? Just to blend out the color. Okay, it's not too bad. Going in with the NYX HD Studio Concealer in the shade CW01, I am applying more concealer, cutting my crease, or attempting to, just so that I can make the two colors that I will be applying on top pop out some more. I do like the applicator tip because it definitely does help cut the crease, but if I don't cut the crease with this applicator tip, I like to use a flat brush because that also works as well. As much as we both thought that I would finish my eye with you on camera, unfortunately my phone died and I just wanted to complete this look. So this is what it looks like and I'm going to demonstrate exactly what I did on this eye. I'm definitely going to try and get me a new BH Cosmetics palette because this one, you just really have to build and build and build to get it to the shade that you would like. Going in with a no-name brush, flat brush, I'm just applying that reddish tone to the outer corner of my eye to complete this look. I'm still using the BH Cosmetics palette and I have to build, build, and build to try to get it to the shade that I want. And I just learned to accept it 
but once that's officially done I'm going to show you what I do to blend out my eyeshadow because that's one area that I'm still working on blending it out so as you can see here I am using this brush that I've already previously used and I am just blending the shades together going back and forth to make sure that there's a seamless look so far I think I did a good job blending out the colors I don't see anything that's too harsh the colors are nicely blended as far as the gold and the reddish undertone so I'm happy about that Sometimes I use translucent powder, sometimes I don't. Do you always use translucent powder? Yes, no, maybe. Let me know down in the comments. Now instead of using the exact same palette that I used on my lid, I'm going to switch to It's My Riri's first palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Sunset and Fairy Tale to create the exact same colors. These are more vibrant and that's what I want. So I'm actually going to go in with Sunset first. And that's all I'm going to do. And now I'm going to finish off the rest of my under eye with the color Fairy Tale. Wow, okay, so I didn't switch brushes. Normally I would, but I'm glad I did it because this brush still had a little bit of sunset on there and because I went in right after with Fairy Tail, I actually got a little bit of the reddish shimmer going on. Wow, I love it. So the last couple of minutes of this video was just the finishing touches. As you can see, I already have highlighter on, but that's because I wasn't sure whether I was going to add the, you know, foundation powder. So I ended up wanting to apply it just because my skin looked a little uneven and just reapplying the highlighter on top in the shade Radiant, one of my favorite shades. Now, I really didn't mind the fact that I applied the highlighter after applying the powder because it gave me more of a subtle look instead of the highlighter being bright and all out there going in with my colossal mascara i love it because you can see the difference what more can i say i like this nars um lip pencil and i also love this lip primer because it keeps my lips very moisturized the only con to the nars lip is just that i feel like it goes out really fast so I have to constantly buy it over and over so if you have any red lips that you love make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me what it is one brand that is recommended is the lip bar if you have tried it let me know if you haven't but want to let me know if you end up doing it I know I will I'll definitely invest because I've only heard amazing reviews. But other than that, I really hope you liked this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so that you never miss another one. And if you don't like beauty videos, check out the other playlists I have on my channel. And that's it. This is the finished look. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you can take something away from this video. If you have any constructive criticism, make sure that you leave me a comment down below. I am just someone who loves to play with color and eyeshadow, so if this is what you do for a living, leave a comment down below. You can help me, and I'd appreciate it. So with that being said, if you want me to make more beauty videos, make sure that you leave me a comment down below, and just let me know that as well. Peace and love. If you want to know what my curls look like once I take these rods down, and whatever it is I have going on with this hairstyle, make sure that you tune in. Like, subscribe, share with your family and friends, and I will catch you in my next video.